in our vedic culture we do not require a specific day like international mothers day chandogya upanishad says matru devo bhava matru devo bhava our respect towards mother our glorification towards mother is not just on one day of the year it is an every day it is every hour in fact every moment and every second every breath we must be grateful towards our mother the vedic culture teaches so much respect so much veneration towards mother that we have found the divinity in mother hence mother has become the synonym for the representation of god in this material world shrila prabhupad says if at all there is something which is close to the divine love of lord krishna in this world in the selfish world that is mother's unconditional love in our life so we will never be able to repay our debt to glorious mother we take this opportunity for next 6 to 7 days till the 9th may that is international mothers day to remember glorious mothers from our vedic history and hear about them and learn to appreciate the divine qualities that they all manifested and on the last day of this series that is 9th may we have a finale for all the folks where you can bring your mother and that day it is it is for you to glorify your mother how glorious is your mother today we will hear the first uh, mother from the vedic history that we are going to discuss is mother kunti kunti devi from shri mahabharata kunti was born in yadu dynasty she was born to a great king yadava king called shura sena she was also sister to another famous personality of shri mahabharata is vasudeva lord krishna's father she is a aunt of lord krishna she was gifted to uh, shura sena's friend that is kunti bhoja and kunti bhoja took care of uh, mother kunti from her very childhood because of which she got the name kunti she got this name kunti because of her foster father kunti bhoja she was born to shura sena and she was named as prutha because of this prutha later her son the celebrated son arjuna was called partha and because he was called partha and his friend krishna was called partha sarathi in fact krishna is glorified because of this great mother kunti krishna's name partha sarathi is connected to his friend partha arjuna and arjuna got that name because of his mother prutha that is kunti devi that is the greatness of mother kunti this great lady prutha or kunti was married to a great hero in the kuru dynasty called pandu maharaj pandu was a very great king he conquered the whole world and he was the emperor of the kuru dynasty in the hastinapura later because of a curse there was a sage by name kindama in the in the forest expedition unknowingly ignorantly pandu maharaj he actually shoots an arrow that kills uh, kindama rishi and kindama rishi out of anger curses pandu that he will not be able to live a family life with his wives and pandu maharaj becomes renounced and along with his wives he retires to himalayan mountains 
that is when we see the greatness of mother kunti mother kunti she was not at all sorry that i have to leave the palace i have to renounce the facilities of the palace she was not uh, lamenting oh because of my husband i have to leave the palace she was so happy she wanted to be always with her beloved husband she was so loving and she was so caring towards her husband she wanted to be part of his sukha and dukkha happiness and distress and she did not mind renouncing the palace this is because the upbringing of mother kunti was so great from her very beginning from her childhood she was very austere the first quality of this great mother kunti is she is extremely austere and there is a reason why her austerity was tested once it so happened the great famous in fact he is infamous for his anger the sage named durvasa he comes to the court ya court of uh, kunti bhoja the maharaja kunti bhoja and everyone was scared oh my god who is going to face him because durvasa gets angry for no reason and he gives very powerful curse he can curse anybody any anyone and he can finish off anyone so everyone was scared and kunti bhoja he actually at that time sends mother kunti at that time she was very very young girl to the service of durvasa muni you can imagine the grown up people well, the trained people knowledgeable people are very scared to go near durvasa muni and do service to him and here kunti bhoja is sending this young girl small girl to durvasa muni to render service kunti was so expert she renders service to durvasa muni so well that durvasa muni becomes extremely pleased with mother kunti and he blesses mother kunti that in future from now onwards whenever you want you can call any devatas any celestial being and when you call they cannot say no they have to come and with them you can beget a divine children this kind of an extraordinary blessing was bestowed upon mother kunti you see this quality of mother kunti what is that how to handle the difficult situation durvasa muni coming to the house of kunti bhoja the palace of kunti bhoja was very very difficult situation and mothers are glorious because the first thing that all of our mothers know is they know exactly how to handle difficult situation we all can remember how mothers at home they 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 know in fact everybody gets scared oh there is a difficulty now but mothers with their patience with their uh, cool headedness they actually handle the difficult situation and they know how to deal with the difficult situation like mother kunti did and kunti was blessed by durva samani and she was so qualified because of this qualification maharaj pandu got attracted maharaj pandu wanted a very qualified wife and he found that qualification in mother kunti and he married the kunti kunti maharani and she came to hastinapura and after hastinapura this incident that pandu was getting cursed by kinda marishi maharani kunti along with pandu maharaj renouncing the palatial happiness and facilities they go to himalaya we can see how the mothers are so glorious that they are not attached to the facilities that are available in their life they always want to be with family they want to make sure that they want to be part of the family's sukha and dukha they never say oh all of you go to hell i want to take care of my happiness that is almost not possible for mothers 
that is why they are so glorious like mother kunti did not say oh maharaj pandu the curse is given to you not for me you if you want you go to forest i will be in the palace she didn't say she went with her husband and they go to himalayan mountains and there they will build one small hut and like sages they live there and maharani kunti she is completely engaged in taking care of her husband serving him and every day maharaj pandu would call so many sages who were living in that vicinity um great uh, rishis and tapasvis and they maharani kunti would assist maharaj pandu in serving all these mahatmas and then it so happened maharaj pandu was feeling very bad that he do not have children and who will succeed the kuru dynasty and then maharani kunti she reveals the boon that she re- received from durvasa and then maharaj pandu request maharani kunti that okay please beget a child and that is how yudhishthira maharaj was born from the dharma raja that is yama dharma raja the dharma personified from him because the king was supposed to kn- know all the dharma sukshmas so they get, they beget a child dharma raj and then from vayu maharani kunti was able to get a child like bhima and then from indra the king of heaven she begets arjuna like this th- she gets three great children yudhishthira maharaj who is known for his dharma bhima who is known for his prowess his strength and arjuna who was known for his beauty his prowess his archery skills and many more so maharani kunti and then when uh, pa- maharaj pandu request kunti again to beget more children then maharani says no we cannot be greedy you see how maharani kunti so qualified that she was not thinking oh i'll get an opportunity to associate with some celestial being she had complete self control over herself our mothers are glorious because we can see that glorious nature in maharani kunti and krishna recognizes this in bhagavad gita in bhagavad gita krishna talks about kunti maharani krishna talks about greatness of kunti maharani how great this mother kunti by addressing arjuna with kunti's name he calls arjuna as kaunteya kaunteya means the son of kunti you see how glorious it is actually uh, parents they they like to be known as known as such and such par- you know parents of such and such children the, the the children they say oh our children should uh, should shine our name but here we see kunti maharani she because of her the son is called uh, after mother's name kaunteya how glorious it is arjuna is already great but krishna is not calling arjuna as arjuna is calling arjuna as kaunteya because your mother is so great your mother is so glorious i want to see you with your connection with the mother krishna is seeing arjuna because of arjuna's connection with this great mother kunti we all should aspire this god should be so proud that he should like to god like to see us with our parents and how is it possible we must learn the good qualities from our parents how nice it is our parents teach so many good qualities great qualities especially in indian culture we learn so many good things from all of our parents right from our childhood we can learn so many good things and our parents have always been demonstrating many many good qualities arjuna had learned all good qualities from his mother because of which krishna was so happy with both mother kunti and arjuna that he he was calling arjuna as kaunteya and there is a shloka where krishna talks greatness of mother kunti the glorious call, uh, nature of mother kunti matra sparshastu kaunteya sheeta ushna sukha dukkada आगम आपाइना अनित्यस तांतितिक्ष्व भारता एक्चुअली कृष्णा इज टीचिंग सम वेरी वेरी ग्रेट थिंग टू अर्जुन व्हाट इज दैट द क्वालिटी ऑफ टॉलरेंस हाउ टू बी टॉलरेंट 
titikshwa means tolerance and krishna is talking about how to be equal in sukha and dukkha krishna is talking about how to be equipoised in shita and ushna that means heat and uh, cold in uh, happiness and distress how to be tolerant how to face everything and for that krishna calls arjuna o oh arjuna who is the son of mother kunti because your mother is expert in all those things your mother is expert to handle sukha and dukkha both in her life she is expert to be equipoised in uh, gain and loss so i and he is reminding arjuna oh arjuna because you are a son of such a great mother called kunti you should also exhibit you should also demonstrate this good quality see like this we should all sit down and we should recall we should remember what are the glorious what are the inspiring what are the motivating qualities that my mother has demonstrated in my life there must be many many good qualities our mother must have demonstrated and when you learn that good quality from your mother god krishna the supreme lord krishna will be very happy because matrudevo bhava in the chandogya upanishad it is said that lord krishna works through your mother lord krishna takes care of you through your mother in the conditioned life in this material world krishna's love god's love god's care god's protection god's affection is given to all of us through our mother so it is the mother who becomes an instrument for the god's love to flow through and whenever you see this kind of great good qualities you must remember all those good qualities are coming from krishna himself it is krishna's good qualities that my mother like a mirror she is reflecting so whenever we see any good qualities we should immediately take inspiration we should learn those good qualities because those good qualities are coming from krishna himself and when we learn those good qualities and when we remember krishna krishna will be very happy so this is the greatness of mother kunti and mother kunti she is not an ordinary lady as we already discussed she had the capacity to make durvasa you know calm peaceful and pacified and she is also able to call big devatas and bigger children with their help and she was able to have complete self control over her and later when maharaj pandu passed away when he left his body and madri the second wife of maharaj pandu she also uh, gave up her body along with her husband the madri she had two children nakula and sahadeva and mother kunti she was so impartial towards this nakula and uh, sahadeva she never treated them differently she embraced them whole heartedly more than her own children impartially she actually took care of nakula and sahadeva actually this is mother's heart mother heart is such that they never discriminate they never differentiate because as i already told krishna says in bhagavad gita mata ma, you know uh, pitaham asya jagato mata dhata pitamaha it is krishna who says in bhagavad gita i am your mother pitaham asya jagato mata i am your mata i am your mother and that motherly nature of krishna is exhibited through our mother in our life and what is that indiscriminating they do not do partiality they are always equal to everyone like kunti maharani she is so great she never discriminated nakula and sahadev she loved sahadev more than arjuna she loved nakula more than bhima she took care of these two kids more than in fact later when you know on some part of the mahabharata when uh, yaksha maharaj asked yudhishthira maharaj that uh, see for four of your brothers they drank the water and they they are now dead i will ask you uh, to only one person to be revived 
tell me one more person that you can revive out of the four that bhima arjuna nakula sayadeva whom you want to be revived and then immediately yudhishthira maharaj said i want nakula or sahadeva to be revived i want one of them to be uh, coming back to the life then yaksha maharaj asked why you did not ask for bhima you did not ask for arjuna they are so powerful then immediately yudhishthira maharaj says my mother kunti she loves nakula and sahadev and she has so impartially loved them now in the absence of mother kunti we want one of them to be with us this is the kind of a upbringing not only mother kunti was was uh, impartial she had passed on this good qualities to a good upbringing through good you know uh, uh, to, to value system to the children also because of which yudhishthira maharaj was able to say i want nakula or sahadeva so a glorious mother is one who teaches such glorious value system to her children also the mother will always teach how to be sharing caring impartial to towards everyone like she is so uh, kunti was austere kunti was impartial and kunti was very confident later in her life there were so many difficulties not one or two difficulties they were given poison to de- they were tried to uh, the kauravas were tried to kill them and you know that lakshagraha they kauravas tried to burn them alive in that uh, varanavat incident kunti had to go through so many difficulties and she never gave up her courage she was very courageous and all our mothers we can see how courageous they are they are so courageous they never give up their uh, confidence in their life no matter what comes they stand by their children they are like standing behind us and telling yes go ahead i am with you that confidence and courage we all get because of our confident and courageous mother so mother kunti was confident she was courageous and she was never uh, having any grudge against anyone you see how kauravas mistreated her her children in fact dhritarashtra so badly treated but she was not holding any grudge she was all forgiving she was all forgiving she was confident she was courageous she was impartial indiscriminating she was austere she had full self control in this way she was full of glorious culture and she taught all these values to her children and all her children became so glorious all of them became world famous because of their character their values and their upbringing and the last but the most important quality of the glorious mother kunti is her devotion to lord krishna we know how kunti she is so devoted to lord krishna there is one chapter dedicated to mother kunti in shrimad bhagavatam called uh, prayers offered by kunti maharani her prayers to lord krishna are world famous are so celebrated because the way she offers prayers to krishna are so heart touching she remembers in her prayers some of the verses that i would like to just quote some of the interesting verses she offered she says that vipada santu ta shashvat tatra tatra jagat guru bhavato darshanam yat syat apunar bhava darshanam she says that oh my lord oh krishna let there be more and more difficulties in our life look at her courage look at her devotion she says oh krishna let there be more and more problems and difficulties because whenever there are difficulties whenever there are problems you are always with me you are always with my children you are always in the hastinapura so i want you to be always in my life one of the uh, quality that makes mother a glorious mother is the devotion to lord krishna when mother herself is a devotee when mother teaches devotion to children she becomes glorious mother 
like mother kunti and kunti she is so glorious she is telling krishna you give us more problem doesn't matter but you be in our life you be with us always and she is saying because hey krishna if we if you are with us if i have your darshan apunar bhava darshanam we will not take birth once again in this material world mother become glorious if she knows that uh, you know me and my family and my children everybody should not be born once again in this material world we should all get mukti moksha liberation we should all go back to vaikuntha goloka vrindavana we should be with krishna if this is the desire if the mother has and that makes the mother glorious and that's what we see in kunti maharani apuna bhava darshanam she says a hey krishna if i have your darshan that darshan will make me not have the darshan of this material world apunar bhava darshanam and next she says krishna shunvanti gayanti grinanti abhikshnashah let me always get an opportunity to hear about you to think about you to remember you to talk about you like this kunti she is so glorious because her quality her devotion to krishna is so glorious smaranti nandanti gayan tavehitam janaha she says let me always take happiness by thinking of you and she says that tvai me ananya vishayo matir madhupate sakrit ratim udvatat adha she says gange ogham udanvati krishna like ganga river he's flowing from himalaya to ocean nobody can stop mother ganga like that let my devotion always flow towards you see this is the glorious position of a mother the mother she has such nice devotion to lord krishna like mother ganga flowing towards ocean this mother kunti she wants her devotion towards krishna to flow without any hindrance and the most important prayer that we can all learn and mothers day we can offer this prayer that mother kunti has taught us is krishna yavas devaya देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च देवकी नंदना यू आर सन ऑफ अनदर ग्लोरियस मदर देवकी नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम हे गोविंद आई ऑफर मै ओबीसेंस इन दिस वे कुंती महारानी वॉज अ ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ हर डिवोशन शी हेड सो मेनी वंडरफुल क्वालिटीज एंड शी टॉट ऑल दो वंडरफुल क्वालिटीज टू हर चिल्ड्रन पांडवास एंड वी नो दैट बिकॉज ऑफ सच ग्रेट ग्लोरियस मदर the children pandavas also became so glorious in their life so this is the uh, greatness and glorious position of mother kunti like this every day we will be hearing about the great qualities of mother uh, different mothers from the vedic history i request all of you to please attend all the sessions when we hear this great qualities we will also go back and introspect and see the good qualities that our mother has and we can be grateful to krishna for getting such glorious mother in our life and also appreciate the glorious mothers of our vedic culture vedic history so the folk has planned glorious mother this event on coming sunday and we want all of you to take this opportunity to thank your mother to appreciate your mother to be grateful to your mother on this international mothers day hari krishna